So this is the area that all the sheep come through for shearing. And the sheep are now shored once a year, and that's for their health and well -being. So we're a busy working farm with over 2,000 sheep on the farm and approximately 1,500 small lambs. And this sheep that John will now shear for you is the mother to a baby lamb. So the baby lamb would have been born in March or April. And John show you first a little how we did the work using a hand shears. All the work on the farm before we got electricity was done up until 1977 using hand shears. And using hand shears you could shear 40 or 50 sheep a day with the electric jug could shear a couple of hundred sheep a day. Now this sheep is about two years old and the baby lambs are born in March and April. Now the skill of shearing is something you learn at a very young age. So we have all the tools, that's what we would do is shearing the sheep by hand using a hand shear. And when we got electricity in 1977, it was many years later before we moved over to electric because it was too expensive at the time. Now it's nature. Nature will tell you when it's time to shear the sheep. So the wool at the moment is coming away from the skin. It's very, very easy to shear the sheep. The wool is coming away. It's all to Russia, China. So China doesn't buy as much wool anymore. And a lot of wool that is coming out to Europe. Now the first thing John will do is he gives the sheep medication for her health and well-being. And this is to kill the parasite liver fluke and liver fluke tried here with the wet climate with an Ireland. And next he will give her a vaccination, and this is to kill parasites on her skin. And then last but not least, he will apply the identification of the part of the fire that he's taking her to. But this particular sheep is red on her pole. So when you're driving along, doing a carry on your touring coach, you see the different colored sheep, every farmer, different color, different identification. Now, now John will do another one for you now, just in case you didn't get a photo. And he will show you the wool there now first, you will see the wool. And this wool is open to making sweaters or carpets. This one is more ideal for carpets, it's a coarser type wool. So the next one he will share now will have softer wool and it will be ideal for sweaters. So different sheep produce different type of wool. Now this sheep is a different breed of a sheep. It's a Chevy, you see? And she produced a lot more milk for the baby lamb. The Chevy is produced three to four liters of milk a day. very welcome. I'm John. We're, I think you met my brother Noel inside already. We've been farming up here for uh, I think it's soon hopefully make it to seven generations. This here is Evan. Evan is a shepherd, a farmer and a dog trainer. He works here and he gives a hand out in the afternoon. And that's his dog Gwyn. She's a young dog from about one, yeah, one, and, one and a half years. Now what we do is ahead of us and we'll bring them back to here eventually. 